Hello, and welcome to the Hydrogen Academy informational video series created by Johnson Matthey. In this video, we will cover a general overview of the hydro desulfurization portion of the hydrogen flow sheet. Feedstock purification is an important step to any hydrogen plant to ensure contaminants don't damage the downstream equipment or catalysts. The hydro desulfurization, or HDS, ensures that the organic sulfur and chloride species are being hydrogenated to their inorganic form so they can be removed by downstream absorbance. Your mercaptans and other organic sulfur molecules will react with hydrogen to form H2S and hydrocarbons. The reaction is similar for organic chlorides, where HCl is produced instead of H2S. For these reactions to occur, hydrogen is needed which is not typically present in the natural gas feed. Typically, a hydrogen recycle stream is introduced just before the HDS. The amount of hydrogen required is dictated by the composition of the feed gas to the unit. For natural gas feeds, a hydrogen level of 2-5% by volume is recommended. For other feed types, the amount of hydrogen will vary. There are a number of side reactions that may occur during this process. One common side reaction is the hydrogenation of olefins that may be present in the feed, which can lead to an increase in temperature. There are two main types of HDS catalyst. Both contain molybdenum. One is cobalt-based and the other is nickel-based. They are mostly interchangeable. However, the nickel formulation is better suited for feeds with elevated olefin or carbon oxide levels. This formulation minimizes the feed side reactions. Generally, a minimum operating temperature of 570 degrees Fahrenheit is recommended to ensure sufficient activity and to avoid any organic sulfurs and or chlorides from slipping through the catalyst bed. Operating at higher temperatures, up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit, can help avoid side reactions. There are several methods with which the HDS catalyst can become deactivated. One of the most common is carbon formation, which can occur in both the preheat coils and the top of the bed. When this occurs, carbon blocks the active sites of the catalyst, inhibiting the HDS reaction. A sign that this form of deactivation is occurring is an increase in pressure drop across the bed and organic sulfur or chloride slippage. Investing in a well-designed HDS and purification system can lead to longer catalyst lives and less frequent catalyst changeouts. Thank you for watching this video in our Hydrogen Academy series. For more information, visit Matthew.com or contact your Johnson Matthew representative.